China is one of the world's major suppliers of cotton. However, almost 80% of the country's cotton comes from Xinjiang province, where the Uyghurs have been forced into slavery and compelled to work as cotton pickers. In June 2022, the U.S. implemented the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act, or UFLPA. This law categorizes all products from Xinjiang, including cotton, as products of forced labor and prohibits their import into the U.S. unless the exporting company can prove otherwise. Chinese companies have since found several ways to effectively deal with the UFLPA. First, they use micro-shipments of finished cotton products to individual buyers in the U.S. Tiny packages are not subject to the same inspections and restrictions as bulk shipments, easily bypassing the law. The second, more effective way is for China to import cotton from another country and then export it to the U.S. Currently, the Chinese regime is importing cotton from Afghanistan a country dominated by the Taliban, an organization labeled as terrorist. According to Breitbart, Afghan White Gold, an Afghan company, signed a contract with Shanghai Chuban Textile on July 11th to export 10,000 tons of cotton from Afghanistan to China. The $25 million deal will help the brutal Taliban government evade international sanctions, imposed after the group took control of the country in 2021 and will also make it easier for the Chinese regime to confront UFLPA. Trade between China and Afghanistan reached a record high of $1.33 billion in 2023, up 125% year-on-year. Chinese companies have also pledged to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in Afghanistan. According to the Taliban Ministry of Industry and Trade, China is one of the country's top five cotton import customers. In the opposite direction, China exports products made from Xinjiang cotton to Afghanistan, which cannot be exported to the U.S.